Good day everyone, I'm June F. Toonan. I'm April C. Balmaseda. And we are here to present to you our basic research entitled No Child Should Be Left Behind Evaluation of TNTS SHS Yakap Intervention Group. As an educator, teachers should not stop studying and learning ways to improve their pedagogies because it is the duty of the teacher and educators to make the learning of every student in the subject curriculum. Not all students are academically inclined, and learners have a unique learning capabilities. To shed light to this growing concern, Pasa National Trade School Senior High School Department launched its You Are Cared and Protected YAPA program in 2016. The primary goal is to foster the teaching and learning process of the institution by regularly monitoring learners' attendance, healthy study habits, discipline and strengthening the support system systems between the school's major stakeholders such as teachers, parents, and students. This study focused, focused on Yakup RL specifically concerned with the Yakup remediation program. Every year, each school year, Tansa National Trade School, Senior High School, enrollment gets higher and the risk for the number of failing and dropout students are also increasing. So this is the diagram showing the SHS remediation and intervention program. These are just some of the many reasons why there is a need to, us, to assess the credibility of the program and shed light to possible improvements that implementers and can do to develop the program more. Showing the diagram of the graph of the historical enrollment and projected enrollment of the TNTS SHS from school year 2016-2017 to school year 2019-2020. The graph shows the total number of dropouts from 2016-2017 to 2017 school year up to 2018-2019. The graph shows the number of students enrolled in the immigration program pass and fail in each um, courses from school year 2016-2017 and this shows the uh, the number of enrollees in the Yakov Remediation Program from the school uh, from different subjects from the school year 2017-2018 and this shows the number of enrollees in each um, subjects from the school year 2018-2019 so these are the following uh, research questions. First, what are the strengths of the Yaka Premediation Program? What are the weaknesses of the Yaka Premediation Program? And how do the students, the remedial teachers, and the administrators find the Yaka Premediation Program effective? So the study, uh, study aimed to determine the status of the Yaka Premediation Program at the National Trade School during the school year 2018-2019 in terms of the program objectives, assessment of the teachers, and teaching strategies. We are just in the phase two one of the study. The respondents of this study were the school principal, uh, SHS department coordinators, five SHS remedial teachers, and five grade 12 students who undergo remediation classes during the school year 2018-2019. This study conducted from June 2019 to September 2019. According to understood team 2019, remedial programs are not the same as a special education. It is designed to meet the needs of the students with disabilities to help the progress in school, while remedial programs are designed to close the gap between what a student knows and what he is expected to know. Uh, the, the findings from the students First, the students are not aware of the Yaka Remediation Program, and they, they only knew that the master teacher of a particular subject area is just the one who is giving remediation or conducting remedial classes. The master teachers are conducting the remedial classes based on their availability, and they are consistent with on the way they conduct the remediation or remedial activities. Students find the program helpful to them. Findings from the teachers and master teachers Everyone is aware of the Yaka Remediation Program, but not everyone is aware of who are supposed to conduct the remediation or remedial class. They are not well equipped of trainings with regards to conducting remediation and or remedial classes. They base their way to identify students needing remediation in their scores and in different activities. They do not have a specific time on when to conduct the remedial class.
classes and they have different ways in conducting remedial classes. Some they do class discussions, some they just give set of activities and or modules to be answered. There are some problems encountered by the teachers and master teachers. First, lack of support from parents and guardians or guardians of the students and most of the students are not attending the remedial classes. Next, the schedule of the remedial classes are not properly identified and lack of the learners, learner materials such as modules, reading materials, and set of activities to be given to the students. Suggestions from teachers and master teachers. They are asking for more intensive training on how to conduct remediation or remedial classes. They also pointed out that parents or guardian supports and awareness of the program must be strengthened. The, object, the subject teachers should properly monitor the progress of the students. And our suggestions from teachers and master teachers that they should give remedi remediation activities for the underperforming students immediately to prevent them from failing the subjects and sending them to Yakap remediation. The schedule of conducting remedial classes needs to be improved and lastly, the teachers must have a compilation of activities, modules, reading materials to be given to the students during remedial classes. For the implementers, their basis for the establishment of the program are the state's policy that there should be no child left behind and the Deped Order No. 8 series of 2015, the policy guidelines for the classroom assessment for the K-12 basic education program. They note and accept the fact that the teachers are not well trained in conducting remediation or remedial classes. There is a problem in assessing the teacher's performance in conducting remediation and or remedial classes. The school is very much willing to support the program in any way possible. Suggestion from the implementers, every master teacher in the subject area must already have prepared modules, reading materials, and set of activities to be given to the students ahead of time. Remedial classes should be given as one teaching load to those assign teachers to closely monitor the progress of the students. Some weaknesses of the YAKA program. First, the design of the program is not research-based. There is no study conducted prior to the designing and implementation of the program. The students' awareness of the program is very weak and the teachers are not well trained to conduct remediation or remedial classes. Teachers' awareness on who are going to conduct remedial classes should be strengthened. The schedule of the remedial classes are not properly followed. Lacks of teaching materials as modules, reading materials, and etc. Parents and guardian supports and other stakeholders need to be strengthened. And lastly, the process in determining the students needing remediation is not properly implemented. Recommend our recommendations. <coughs> The program should be research-based. The students' awareness should be strengthened. More trainings on remediation and conducting remedial classes should be given to the teachers. There should be teachers assigned in each subject. Area responsible in conducting remediation and remedial classes so closely monitor students' progress. The preparation of teaching materials needed in the remediation and remedial class should be done ahead of time. And awareness of the program to different stakeholders should be strengthened. Advocacy and dissemination plan. It is our advocacy to make all students pass their academic year and no child should be left behind by providing research-based, relevant, effective remediation and intervention program. The results of this study will be discussed to the principal and subject group heads to ask permission to redesign the program based on our recommendation and discuss the new design of the program to the teachers during the in-service training, uh, FGD, LAC sessions, and or general assembly. Thank That's you. all. Thank you and God bless.